guys welcome or welcome back again to my channel i am grace the owner of bg patterns and on this channel right here we create a lot of fashion related content as well as sewing pattern making and whatnot and it also goes hand in hand with my pattern making store hence the name bg patterns so guys in today's video i'll be showing you how to make this really cute simple dress which was um, valentine's day inspired it's a dress that has a princess seam a wide waistband an open back and a half circle skirt and it's also a mini length between 18 to 20 inches for the skirt panel so it's not too short and it's not too long it's just a few inches above the knee okay so this is something i would actually consider as a beginner friendly tutorial because um the techniques and the sewing process is quite um, easy and straightforward without so many complicated um, sewing techniques so if you are a beginner and you want to make something like this don't worry it's going to it's just right up your alley and it's going to be very simple and detailed for you to understand and as usual I have a pattern um, for this dress right here on my store so if you're interested in getting this pattern the link is going to be in the description box and I it ranges from a UK 6 to a UK 20 as always but I hope to increase my size range in the future and as always I always like to have a discount code for you guys whenever I release a pattern that month so the link the discount code is going to be written on the screen right here and it is only valid for the month of february so after the month of february it's going to be invite that is pretty much it for this video right here so if you're interested in seeing how i created this really cute and simple dress then please stay and watch and without any further ado let's just jump right into the video hey guys so as usual we're going to start off by writing the list of items and that's for this project right here so starting off with the straps, the, the long and the, and the short one, you're going to fold it into two equal parts, having right sides facing each other. And sew it down, as you can see on, in the video, using a quarter of an inch um, seam allowance. Then trim off the excess fabric. After trimming off the excess fabric for both the long and the short strap, um, you turn your right sides out using your loop turner or a safety pin or a hair pin. After doing that, you're going to cut the short strap into two equal parts and that is what you're going to use to create your loops at the back of the dress. Um, but before doing that, I'm going to go ahead to iron it down and I like doing it because it makes the straps or the strips um, neater. And you're going to pretty much repeat the same step to the long um, strap. So now sewing the front um, bodies, you're going to place right sides um, of the center, front bodies and side bodies together. You pin it down in place and you sew it down using a half an inch seam allowance. I'm starting off by um, pinning it down from the um, bottom all the way to the top. you have when you pin it and you repeat the same step to the lining as well and this is what you have then you just sew the sides down using a half an inch seam allowance so this was sped up but when you're sewing this curved area most especially at the bust area you need to be careful so you don't end up um, having an unneat work so this was just sped up but trust me when I say I took my time when sewing the curved side of the front bodies so after doing that, you're just going to create notches um, around the curve of the front bodies for both the lining and the main bodies to just make it easier to move around and to create the cup needed for the front to have your bust put in properly. So after doing that, you're just going to um, iron it down and I'm using my tailor's hem to iron the curved edges down. So I like starting from the wrong side and after ironing the wrong side, I go ahead to iron the right side of the fabric as well. And you just repeat the same step to the lining. So now you're going to want to 
join the waistband to the front bodies itself so you're going to do that by placing right sides together you're going to sew it down and you pretty much repeat the same step to the lining as well As usual after doing that you're just going to go ahead to iron your work your seam i find that ironing as i sew makes my work 10 times neater so i've adapted that uh, method to my whole sewing process so now the next step is to sew the back bodies to the front bodies so i'm going to pin the side seams together and as usual i like to start pinning from the bottom all the way to the top so you're going to sew it down and you're going to repeat the same step to the lining as well. So after doing that, you're just going to iron it down to just have a neat seam. So now we're going to focus on the skirt panel so what you'll do is to place the right sides of both the front and the back body pieces together and you pin the side seams together in place then you sew it down using a half an inch seam allowance after pinning one side you pretty much repeat the same step to the other side of the skirt panel So after doing that, you're going to press the side seam. So for the skirt facing, you're going to pretty much do the same step, which is sewing the side seam for the front and the back body pieces together, or front and back body skirt panel together, and iron it down in. So the next step is to um, fuse and interface into the center back of your skirt panel and the reason why we're doing this is because of the way the skirt was cut the center back was cut on a bias and it's going to be stretchy and have it be it's going to make it difficult for you to um, sew your zipper on and even if you sew your zipper on it's just going to have a puckering on which we do not want so the interfacing prevents that from happening so after doing that the next step is to attach the bodies to the skirt panel and what i like to do is i like to pin the side seams first then i pin the rest in place So you're pretty much going to do the same steps on your line you're pretty much having the right sides of the bodies and the skirts facing together in place and sewing it down along the waist line so now we're going to insert a zip to this back of the skirts or the back of the dress and what i like to do is i like to iron my zip first before i insert it um, onto my dress or my skirts or wherever i'm setting it to then after doing that, what I like to do is um, I like to um, pretty much baste um, or loosely stitch the zip to the dress before sewing it down. I, I prefer using a thread than a pin because the thread keeps the zip in place as opposed to when I use a pin because it ends up moving around. So you're just going to place the right side of your zip to the right side of your 
um dress and just baste it onto it like so then you sew it down to where the notch stops at as indicated in the pattern after basting one side you're pretty much going to repeat the same step to the other side of the um dress So after seeing everything, this is what you should have and as usual, I like to iron it down and it looks really neat. So you're going to, once you unzip it, this is what you have. So the next step is to close the center back um, seam down in place. And before I do that, I like to just make sure that I pin it properly before I sew it down in place. So you're just going to sew all the way from where the zip was sewn at to the hem of the dress. So after doing that, as usual, you're going to just iron the seam down to just have a neat finish. So the next step is to just um, sew the zipper down to, onto the skirt but before I do that I need to shorten the length of this zip because it was too long but prior to doing that I'm just creating a knot in a place to prevent the zip from opening up then after doing that I'm just going to cut off the excess zip then pin the zip to the seam allowance at the back or the center back then just stitch it stitch the zipper onto the seam allowance only at the center back of the dress so the next step is to um, insert or attach your strap and the loop to the dress so what I'm going to do is attach the strap first to um, the dress as indicated in the video then after doing that you're going to attach your loop by folding so the next step is you're going to attach your loop by folding it into two equal parts like so and place it on the notch created at the back then you just pin it down and you repeat the same step to the other side um, the strap or yeah the strap was too long so I shortened it a bit to my desired length and just pinned it as you can see I repeat the same step to the other side and after pinning it you're just going to pin the lining to the to the main fabric having the right sides facing each other So after pinning the front, you're just going to go ahead to pin the sides all the way to the back of the dress. So after pinning the back, you're also going to pin um, the skirt facing to the zip at the back right there. So after doing that, you're just going to sew. So when you're sewing along or beside um, the zip, you're going to sew using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Um, but when you're sewing the rest of the, um, when you're sewing the rest, you're just going to sew using a half an inch seam allowance. So using a quarter of an inch is only applicable to um, the zip area. But for the back, the front, you're just going to use a half an inch seam allowance. So after doing that, you're just going to trim off the excess fabric you do not need anymore. And after doing that, you're just going to create notches around the curve of the sides and the front of the front of the bodies to, to make it easier for you to um, move around when you turn your right sides out and to just get a neat curve when you turn your right sides out as well. 
So now you're after creating the notches, you're just going to turn this right sides out. And I usually I like to pull the strap um, when turning that edge right there to so have a pointy enough. Then after doing that, you're just going to iron this down. So now I'm just going to iron this down before I understitch the lining. So now after ironing it down, I'm going to understitch the lining um, to the seam allowance. <laughs> After on the stitching the lining, the next step is to align the side seam um, of the lining to the side seam of the main fabric along the waistline and just pin it and sew it down. This prevents the lining from moving from moving around inside when you wear the dress. So now you're going to hem the dress but first of all you're going to create a stay stitch um a quarter of an inch away from the hem of the dress and that is going to serve as a guideline in folding the dress or in folding the hem after doing that you're going to fold the hem of your dress twice using a quarter of an inch on each fold and you're just going to either pin or loosely um, stitch it and the reason why you're doing this is because this is a curved area so you need to make sure that this is properly sewn or properly pinned down before you actually sew it down in place so I started off by loosely stitching first but after after a while I just decided to use the pin because it was just taking forever so after pinning everything down in place I went ahead to iron the hem of the skirt or the hem of the dress before going ahead to sew it down and the reason why I decided to hem it first is just to have it look neat before sewing it down and after which I'm just going to hem the dress like so and your dress is pretty much done so this is the final result and I absolutely love this dress and I hope you love it as well. Leave me a comment in the comment section letting me know what you think about this dress and I will see you all in the next video. And don't forget to check out the pattern if you're interested in this and don't forget to use the discount code if you decide to purchase this pattern in, on my website. So thank you so much and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!